Hello, this, uh, this video is uh, for uh, people using uh, EasyTix Next Generation Interactive Whiteboard Software, which is an excellent program and uh, I would highly recommend it for um, classrooms, particularly primary school classrooms. Okay, first thing to do is to open the program. So if you've got the shortcut on your desktop, go up to the shortcut and double click to open the program. Now this version is the 1.4 version, which is the latest version of EasyTeach Next Generation. When it first opens, it opens to this window, which is called a dashboard. Now I usually recommend that we just skip, because that gets us to a white page. Okay. Now first thing I'm going to do is put an object on the page, and then we're going to do one or two different actions with it. So for Speed, I'm going to go down to the multimedia library, which is where all the pictures are. I'm going to filter it for food and drink. And I'm going to click underneath one of the apples to get the picture or the image onto the screen. So click. Okay, there we are. We've got an apple. Now, if I click in with my finger or in this case with the mouse and drag, you can move that around. Now, that apple has got a dotted line and some circles around it because it's been selected. So, if I come down to these icons in the middle of the screen at the bottom and click on the one with the arrow and the star, this is called Play or User Mode. So, I'm going to click on Play and now click on the object and I can drag it around the screen and there's nothing else coming up. So if you're using this software with the children in your class and you want them to touch on anything, get them to click on play first and then there won't be any complications or anything else coming up. All right, let's see what else we can do. If I go back to the select arrow or select mode and then click on the apple, I get the boxes back. Now, you can then drag from the corners to size, so we can make it bigger. All right. Notice that I can also change the dimensions of it. So I could have an apple that doesn't look like an apple or a strange shape. So if you want to keep that apple in proportion, first come down to the toolbar and click on this lock, which is called the aspect lock ratio. And that means now, when I drag it, it will stay in proportion. So for photographs and pictures, that may be the way to go. All right, let's make it a little bit smaller. Now, as well as being able to drag it, make it bigger and smaller, if you touch on the middle circle at the top, you can rotate. So all I'm doing is just holding my finger or clicking and dragging and rotating. Right, one more thing comes up, and that's this little arrow here, which is an arrow which, if you click on it, will give you what we call the accelerator menu. So whatever object you have on the page, if you click on it, or click on the arrow, once it's been selected, you will always get this drop down. And as you can see, if we just look along that, uh, that top row of icons, the scissors will cut it or remove it. Now, like all good programs, you can undo. So if you lose something, don't worry, go down and click undo. All right, let's see what else we've got. Now the next two, we've got copy and paste. So let's go copy, paste, and then play. Now, it appears that there's nothing being copied, but if you click on it and drag you can see that the copy is sitting directly on top. Now I'm going to go back to select again and select that one and click on the accelerator menu and in the middle you've got a picture of a bin which is the same as cutting so that removes it and if we select this one now the next symbol these two overlapping circles is um, to clone or duplicate so if I click, 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 I can get instant copies. So that might be a better option than copy-paste. 
All right. So you can imagine if you were doing something like, say, counting objects with the early years class, you could very quickly generate these objects. And each one will move independently, so the children can put them into little groups, put them into groups of three. You can discard them by clicking on the bin, touch, bin. All right, we can have uh, two lots of three, or <coughs> we can have three groups of two, all sorts of activities. Okay, and let's do the last one. So I'm going to move, select the apple at the top, go to the accelerator menu, and the last one here is a fade in, fade out. So let's just fade in, fade out, fade out, fade in. Okay, so if you had something underneath it, you could fade and show it. And then let's just click on there. Okay, so these two buttons at the bottom here, select, if you want to select something. And if you simply want to move an object without any complications, click on play and click and drag. That will be a good one to train up the children with, so that they ca they're coming up to the board they're clicking on play and then they can move objects around. Now we're going to do another activity with the same two icons. Um, I'm going to turn the page over. Now with interactive whiteboard software I tend not to keep deleting stuff. I'll do that when I've finished. So I'm going to simply come down to the right hand side and click plus. And that means that I've turned the page over. Where's page one? Well here it is. It's sitting there. So there's my page viewer, and I'm on page two. Okay, this time we're going to get a shape. So to find the shapes, go down to the toolbar here and click on the pen tools, and you will get lots of icons come up on the toolbar. Now, the one we're looking for is this one right, shape tools. So click on shape tools. Now there's a range of shapes that you can choose from. I'm going to choose the uh, rhombus, click on it, and drag the mouse across the board to draw the shape. Now let's go to play, and then we can move it. All right, now let's just select it like we did with the apple. So let's go to select, and this time I'm going to take the aspect look ratio off. So I'm going to come down here and now I'm going to try and size it. So this is great with shapes because look you can make shapes of lots of different dimensions. Brilliant. Okay and I'm going to show you something really cool with this tool here. Open up the, the uh, pen tools again. Now if you work, work your way along the toolbar to the middle you've got angles whoa, and you've got lengths. Now look what happens when I adjust the shape. So I'm clicking and dragging. So for you mathematicians out there teaching upper primary you can do some fantastic little uh, investigations here. And the angles are changing. All right. The units for the length is measured in is uh, millimeters. All right, and as you can see, the angles will change. So aspect lock ratio. So with that aspect lock ratio, which is down here, preferable for pictures, photographs, um, images. You know that you don't want to lose the uh, the shape of. If you're doing maths, you're doing some shapes, then leave it off, and you can then adjust your shape. All right, and move it around. Excellent. Okay, so that finishes the first uh, tutorial. Um, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be looking in more detail at these uh, pen tools along here. Thank you for watching.